What's up, Scouters? So I'm pretty sure a lot of K-pop fans have been waiting for this moment, but G-Dragon has finally been discharged. First of all, I want to congratulate G-Dragon for being safely discharged and thank him for doing his duties as a soldier of this country. Now to celebrate G-Dragon finally being discharged, here are 5 interesting facts about G-Dragon's military life and his dischargement ceremony. Number 1. G-Dragon was stationed at one of the toughest Korean military divisions. If you look at the picture of G-Dragon in his military uniform, this mark over here represents the division that G-Dragon was stationed at. The division is called Baekgol Division, aka White Bone Division. During the Korean War, this division was mainly composed of right-wing extremists originally from North Korea, who voluntarily enlisted in the army. They started drawing skulls on their helmets to signify that they were going to free their homeland from communism even if they turn into skeletons in the process. Still to this day, the division maintains its reputation as one of the toughest places for Korean soldiers to be stationed at. Aside from this, the division is also famous for hanging up very vulgar signs against North Korea. Number 2. Korea didn't want civilians going into Cheolon to see G-Dragon. Normally, when a celebrity is discharged, his fans and his press wait for him in front of the base that the celebrity was stationed at. Because usually that's where the soldiers are discharged, from their bases. This means G-Dragon fans and the press had to wait for G-Dragon in Cheolon where G-Dragon was stationed at. But the Korean army decided to change the location of G-Dragon's dischargement ceremony to a city called Yongin because they didn't want a lot of civilians entering Cheolon. That's because Korea is currently fighting against the spread of African swine fever. And Cheolon happens to be one of the cities where African swine fever was detected. So unfortunately for G-Dragon, he had to be discharged in a place he was completely unfamiliar with. Number 3. 3,000 fans came to his dischargement ceremony. Although G-Dragon had to be discharged in a completely unfamiliar area, at least he had 3,000 fans who were waiting for him to see his dischargement ceremony. The fans held up signs that read one of a kind G-Dragon, Kwon ji free as the wind, and welcome back G-Dragon. And thanks to his fans, G-Dragon was able to snap this dope picture with his fans to commemorate his dischargement. Number 4. G-Dragon's boots show that he kept his swag even in military uniform. I think this is something that only the people that actually went to the Korean army noticed, but the boots G-Dragon is wearing during his dischargement ceremony is an older generation of military boots. The Korean army stopped supplying these around 2012-ish. Instead, the boots were changed to this. However, the older generation boots are considered by many soldiers as better looking, and it has almost become a fashion item in the military. And if you see G-Dragon's boots, there aren't any creases and you can see the golden badges are still shiny. This means these boots are super minty fresh. And G-Dragon, being the fashionista he is, got a hold of these to keep his swag even while wearing his military uniform. Number 5. G-Dragon held a separate, private fan meeting. Although in a lot of pictures and videos it looks like G-Dragon isn't too happy or excited about being discharged, apparently the man quickly ran by the press line and had a close fan meeting where he thanked his fans and showed a lot more emotions. This was similar to Top, who instead of spending a lot of time with the press, greeted his fans in a different location. Anyways, once again, congratulations to G-Dragon and all the G-Dragon fans who have been waiting for his military service to end. We don't know what he's going to show us, but I think it's fair to say that a lot of K-pop fans are excited to see and hear what the man has to offer for us. If you found this interesting or I answered some of your questions, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more K-pop news and interesting information on Korea. Until then guys, see you next time.